Okay, good morning, students. How are you doing? You are welcome to another class of Theory of Demand and Supply. This topic has been introduced to you before this time. We are looking at price determination today. How do we determine price? But before we move to that, I want us to check on the objectives of today. Now, we have uh, demand function and supply function. We need to know the meaning. Then relationship that exists between price, quantity demanded, and quantity supplied. When, then we need to look at equilibrium price, quantity using functional relationships. Then finally, we need to look at extension in demand and contraction in demand. Now we are moving to the first note here. What is extension demand? Extension demand is when there is fall in price. What happens to quantity demand? Now I want to quickly draw it. Yeah. Now we have five naira here, ten naira here. We have twenty units and thirty units. This represents quantity and price. This price is for price. Now when the arrow goes up, or oh, sorry, fall in price. So let's use reduction as fall in price. Five naira, ten naira. When you have fall in price, what happens to quantity demanded? We have increase in quantity. People will demand for more, more goods because the price has gone down. Now let's look at contraction. That is when we have increase in price. When we have rise in price, increase in price. Now, x-axis, y-axis, uh, y x-axis, then we have price, quantity. Now we have demand curve, then we have this, we have this. Now, we have 5 naira, 10 naira. We have 20 and 40. Now, the price is going up this time. So, what happens to the demand of the people? It will what? Reduce. It will reduce because the price has increased. That is the law of extension and contraction in demand and supply. I'm moving to the next objective, which is I'm moving to the next objective, which is demand function and supply function. Demand function and supply function, they both represent algebraic functional representation of the relationship between demand and price, supply and price. Now, you can see the QD is equal to 20 minus 2P. This is telling you that quantity demanded is having the function of price. And QS is having the function of price here. Now, we can use each of these to calculate different prices for a commodity. We can use QD, for instance, when the price, when P, P is equal to 4 naira, calculates quantity demand. That is QD is equal to, that's QD is equal to 20 minus 2P. Twenty minus two p. That's twenty minus two bracket four. That will give us twenty minus eight. That will give us twelve. That's twelve units. We are done with the first price. Then you can do it with other prices. But in this case, we are moving to the next objective, which is price uh, determination, equilibrium price, equilibrium price. Now. Price determination, equilibrium price. We can illustrate it graphically and we can calculate it as well. I want to start with graphical uh, illustration of it. Now, look at this. When you have this and have this. Are you not surprised that I'm joining my curves to the y axis? Yes, it's possible that way. Now, we have price here, we have quantity. Quantity here. 
Now, this represents demand, this represents supply. We can use this to calculate our equilibrium. That means at this point we have E. Trace it to rate. This represents our equilibrium price. And this represents our equilibrium quantity. This is a graphical illustration of equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. I want to now do the calculation aspect of it. The calculation aspect of it, let me use the formula, the calculation here. 20, 20 minus 2p is equal to 6p minus 12. Because at equilibrium, QD is equal to QS. Then you have, collect the right terms. Collect the right terms. Then you have 20 plus 12 is equal to 6p plus 2p. Then you have 32 is equal to 8p. Divide both sides by 8. 8, that's p is equal to 4. In the Google Classroom, you see the instructions there. Please make sure you follow the instructions strictly and do the right thing. Thank you very much. Stay safe. God bless.